kitchen. Ooh, what a treat. Uh, now, Thomas Hooper and Jim McCaird are tattoo artists in the purest sense of the word, not content with merely creating images on the skin of their clients, but painting and drawing as well. Yes, both trained as fine artists before becoming tattooists, and now an exhibition of their work inspired by Eastern mysticism and meditation is going on display in St Leonard's. Robin Gibson has more. Abstract Contemporary, an art show for an art gallery. One for those who appreciate and buy paintings and those brave enough to come in well for just a look. For sure these artists are inspired. But then they have another trick up their sleeves. But Jim did the 99% of all of that there. Right. And so it's nice to have... And the texture of it, is it like a coating now or is it... No, it's, it's still under skin. the skin in the epidermis. Using your own skin as a canvas is a tattooist tradition, a walking brochure, a statement of self-belief. I've known a few uh, untattooed tattooists and um, a bit like being a vegetarian butcher really, isn't it? I think, you know, you, oh, I love these sausages, but I wouldn't eat them. Tom Hooper now lives and works in America. But he was taught tattooing by Jim McCart in Eastbourne many years ago. So this show in the Fleet Gallery is a reunion of kindred spirits. I like the tattooing because it seems like an honest, like, you know, I go in, I do what I do. And it's like a craft, you know, whereas this doesn't have to pay the bills. It's just, you know, I'm just putting it out there because keeping all the art in a drawer would just seem, it would seem pointless making it in the first place. It's a fascinating backstory which challenges all sorts of preconceptions. It's different now, but 10 years ago I could sit on a plane and sit in a short sleeve shirt and know that people wouldn't want to sit next to me. Just because I had tattoos. The exhibition lasts until the end of the month. Robin Gibson, BBC South East Today, St Leonard's. Right, we're going to get a check on the weather now. Rachel's here. How's it looking out there?